Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Stravan, Assistant Professor, VVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. In our previous video, we have discussed and understood the determination of exchange rate in forward market. As an extension to that, today in this video, we are going to learn and understand the arbitrage process and calculation in forward market. This is a series of video. This is your first video what you are watching. So, first let us understand what is arbitrage. Arbitrage is a process of taking advantage of price difference for the same good. That means buying in a market where it is low and selling in the market where it is high. The same process apply even for the currency arbitrage also. That means you are purchasing the currency in whichever the country where it is low and selling it in another country where it is high so that you can take profit out of it. Now, Arbitrage in forward market. Theoretically, both interest and exchange rate should move together such that the interest rate differential of two currency equals to premium or discount of their exchange rate. Say for an example, Indian interest rate is 12%, whereas US interest rate is 8%. What is the difference between the interest rate of two countries? it is 4%. Theoretically, this should equal to whatever the forward premium or discount that you calculate, that it should be 4% only. But in practice, this cannot happen. There is a discrepancy between the exchange rate and the interest. So, arbitrage can make use of it to take the profit out of it. So, that means the rule for taking the advantage of the market discrepancy is interest differential should be greater than the forward premium or discount. If you satisfy this rule, then you can take advantage out of the market discrepancy. So, let's take an example by taking one solved problem so that we can understand the arbitrage process. Now, in the problem, they have given the data like this. Spot exchange rate, rupees 55 per dollar. That means, if you purchase today, it is 55 rupees and 3 months forward rate. If you purchase after 3 months, it is 54.85. That means it is forward discount. And also they have given interest rate. For rupees, it is 6% and for dollar, it is 8%. Now we need to check, is there any arbitrage possibility? So, the, what the rule says, interest differential should be greater than forward premium or discount. In this case, it is discount. So, what is the interest rate difference? 8 minus 6, that is 2%. Now, we need to check the forward discount percentage. What is the formula for that? Formula is forward rate minus spot rate divided by spot rate into 12 divided by n into 100. It is the forward rate. Forward rate they have given is 54.85. 54.85 minus spot rate is 55 divided by 55 into 12 divided by n. This is a 3 months contract. 
they have given three months interest rate. That means it is a three months contract. N is three into hundred. Fifty four point eight five minus fifty five is minus zero point one five divided by fifty five into twelve divided by three four into hundred. When you substitute, you will get one point. 09 that is minus it is discount now check whether the interest rate differential is greater or not interest rate differential is 2% whether 2% is greater than forward discount or not forward discount is 1.09% when it is greater yes arbitrage works out now we need to calculate how the arbitrage process takes place now the arbitrator can take the following step the first step is borrow 1000 whether it is dollar or rupees check the interest rate whichever the interest rate which has got lower interest rate borrow from that itself only here in this case rupees has got Lower interest rate. That means I'm borrowing thousand rupees at the rate of six percent for three months. Now with this thousand rupees, purchase dollar right now itself only. Right now one dollar is equal to fifty five because they have given in the spot market one dollar is. Fifty-five rupees. So I can able to purchase how many dollar? One thousand divided by fifty-five. That is eighteen point one eight one eight dollar. I can able to purchase right now with this dollar eighteen point one eight one eight dollar. You invest in the money market for eight percent. They have given. For the dollar, they are going to give eight percent. So you invest eighteen point one eight one eight dollar at the rate of eight percent for three months. Now, how much I will get it after three months? For the calculation of the future value, the formula is future value is equal to Principal amount multiply open the bracket one plus open the bracket rate of interest into time close the whole bracket with this formula we'll calculate what is the principal amount eighteen point one eight one eight dollar I'm investing now one plus what is the rate of interest I'm going to get zero point Zero eight into time three months three by twelve. If I calculate eighteen point one eight one eight one plus zero point zero eight into three divided by twelve is equal to zero point zero two. That means eighteen point one eight one eight into 1.02 so totally after 3 months i will get 18.5454 dollar this 18.54 dollar you are going to get after 3 months sell this 18.54 dollar at that time what is the cost per dollar price per dollar is Fifty-four point eight five rupees. You are going to get it. That means for eighteen point five four five four dollar. How much you are going to get rupees? That is eighteen point five four five four multiplied by fifty-four point eight five. That is one zero one seven. Point two two rupees. You are going to get it, but you have borrowed thousand 
thousand rupees at the rate of six percent for three months. How much you need to pay along with the interest? We have taken the formula, no? The same formula. Use it here also. Formula is principal multiplied by one plus open the bracket R into T. Close the bracket. Close the big bracket also. Principal amount is thousand rupees multiplied by one plus R is six percent. 0.06 into time. It is three months. Three divided by twelve. That is thousand multiplied by one plus 0.06 multiplied by three by twelve is 0.015. Now, if you multiply it. You will get one zero one five. This means this much you need to pay it. But you have received one zero one seven point two two rupees. From that you repay it. How much you are going to get profit? One zero one seven point two two minus one zero one five. That is two point two two rupees. You are going to get the profit, but this is a very small amount. We have taken or we have assumed only thousand rupees. But if you invest in large amount, you will get a big profit. This is how you are going to calculate the profit from the arbitration. Thank you for watching this video. We'll continue this with a one more problem in our next video. We'll meet again. Until then, thank you.